of all, this is Tom Clow with my bi-weekly market up, precious metals market update. I'm going to leave my readers on today because i got a lot of questions that came in from you, the listener, that we can try to cover. First uh, thing up, just to get right to it, is next week's uh, expiration of uh, longs and shorts in the futures market. And I think most of you know they've been listening for a long time. There's eight major market makers or banks that control the futures market and precious metals. So sometimes they move in tandem and occasionally they move out of tandem, but usually in tandem. So what these big eight banks do is follow. And then on February 1st, we saw the Robin Hood thing where they came in the market against the big boys. A lot of small guys came in against the big boys. We saw silver make quite an impressive jump. You got to realize silver this year is up 5% just for January and February. While gold is down 4%, silver is up 5%. And all the activity I think will continue for a while. You need to keep buying gold, but silver is where you're going to see the when these big squeezes move. The other thing, uh, just to follow right up on that, is the, the gold silver ratio. It's 65 to 1 this morning. A year ago it was 120, 125 to 1. Gold was 100 to 125 times more valuable than silver per ounce a year ago, and now it's just 65 times headed for that 50 I've been talking about for several months. We're going to see the gold silver ratio at 50 to 1 this calendar year, in my opinion. It's not going to be because gold goes down. It's going to be because silver goes up faster than gold. That's going to be the very reason this is going to happen. Going back to the future market question for a minute, when future contracts expire, you know, you either say you're betting on something to be at a certain price point, and if it gets there, then you take delivery of it at the end of the contract, or you cash in your profit, or you roll it over and pay another uh, few cents an ounce. And it's, we're talking about silver now. So what we see happening next week is the big boys, the eight big banks, they want to influence you not, not to take delivery, especially if you're up on your contract that expires next week. Uh, they, they don't want you taking that because it causes a problem and a shortage in the fiscal market that we've seen over and over and what's going on right now in Singapore and London in particular. So uh, that's what flames the fire is, is what the big boys do. But now they have uh, these Robin Hood organizations and groups that come in and, and interfere, not interfere, but do their own thing that makes it harder for those banks that control that market to continue to control. So then the, we go right to the next question is, uh, what do you buy in silver? They say, you never talk about what to buy. You only talk about buying silver. So we're going to spend a little bit of time today talking about what you buy. Right now, there are four one ounce silver coins that we can get to you, the client, at $4.90 over spot. Yes, that is a big premium based on history, but big wholesalers don't want to sell you because they know it's going to go up. Why they want to sell it? So they're going to put a bigger premium on it. That's the way it's always worked. So the spreads get a little wider, but we've already seen silver at $50 in our lifetime back in 1980 and then in 1911, I mean 2011, and we're getting ready to see it a third time. Even though it's at 2760 right now, we think you'll see $50 silver possibly this year, no later than next year. There's just too many things driving it. So right now what you want to buy are the most liquid and the ones that are made by countries. So that would be the Austrian Philharmonic, the British Britannia, South African Krugerrand, and the Australian kangaroo all can be bought at $4.90 over spot delivered to you or to your warehouse account. We pay all the uh, postage and insurance on that. 
If you want to go with 100 ounce Comex bars, which we have a tremendous demand for, wiped out right now in London, right now in Switzerland, right now in Canada, you cannot get 100 ounce Comex bars because that's what the major bullion banks are using as collateral. Remember, coins can't be used as collateral in future contracts that are stored in COMEX warehouses with no, no uh, leverage on them. So they're, they're deliverable, ready for delivery. So those are always gonna be traded. That's what the big banks have to have, the 100 ounce, the 1,000 ounce uh, bars. So they, those are $4.35 an ounce over spot right now, 55 cents cheaper, but they're in a 100 ounce bar. But you've got a good advantage also because there's always a big demand for those bars because they're COMEX uh, driven. Now, let's switch over to gold for a minute. Gold right now, we're seeing premiums we've never seen in the Gold Eagle. 10% for you to buy what is normally 5.75. They're 4.25% higher than normal, and still the demand is outstripping. Remember what I said earlier, gold is down 4.5% uh, this year, while silver's up 5% this year. But gold's gonna go right back up too. And in that, you wanna buy COMEX gold, we say by the London bullion market approved. There's about eight different hallmarks, uh, like Val Canby and uh, Credit Suisse and uh, Pamp Suisse and those kind of companies that make the one ounce gold bars. Those we have a great price on at 4.25% over spot, which is only about 1% above the normal price. So that's really good to get those LBMA bars in one ounce, 10 ounce, or kilo bars at a 32.15 ounce. And they're even cheaper than the 4.25% over spot. Remember when we're talking about gold and silver, in silver, we talk about dollar amount over, and in gold, uh, we talk about percentage over. And then uh, I wanna say the last thing about product is great deal we have right this minute for those that don't have, because everything's taking about four weeks right now for delivery, which is really good compared to the rest of the market we see out there. But the thing right now that we can sell right now, we've just bought a lot of um, peace dollars, silver dollars, 1933, uh, 1908 to 1933, the silver dollars that have 0.78 ounces of silver in them and uh, the 1921 Morgan silver dollar that we can get you at $34.50 for the Morgans and $33 for the piece. Outstanding price. We have several thousand that probably won't last long. So if you're interested, this is something you can get quicker delivery on and it's not a bullion. It is a bullion coin, but it's uh, a legal tender coin. It was a silver dollar up until 1933. So hopefully I've answered all the uh, market questions. Uh, remember the biggest thing going on in our industry or in our business here is people rolling money into precious metal self-directed IRAs. And you can buy those, um, you know, uh, if you've got a 401k and you're retired, you need to do two self-directed IRAs. One for stocks, bonds, and cash and one for precious metals. And we can help you get a custodian. Uh, we will be your broker and we can be your representative, but we cannot be your custodian that tells you at 70 and a half how much you have to sell. They do the 1099s. They send you a quarterly report on where you stand. Uh, so that's the, the custodian. But right now, uh, that's what's going on. That's a huge part of people that want to own precious metals in their retirement plan, and then they still can own them individually. So that's going on. You can reach us at 
2812 and discuss with Dan or Jade uh, or myself uh, about that. But I would move that because when you've done this 45 years, you just have a feeling in your gut that this thing is getting ready to explode again. And just look at the ratio we've talked about. Silver went up 47% last year. It's already up 5% this year. Gold went up 25% last year. It's currently 4.5% down. But as I said earlier, it's a great buying opportunity to add to your gold. Because gold and silver cannot be printed. I, yesterday I had a client $2 million moving out of bonds. People, if you sit in bonds with all this money the administration is going to do for stimulus, for unemployment. I mean, I was reading an article yesterday. I mean, I mean, we're talking about major department stores around the country going out. I mean, we're hearing about technology that's better than Uber, and Uber's getting ready to go down. I mean, it's electronics are changing this world so fast, it's unbelievable. Paper money will be non-existent in my opinion, by the end of next year. Get your money out of paper money. Get in gold, get in silver, even get some in uh, uh, Bitcoin or Litecoin or some of these. But you don't have, you can buy those as a security. I mean, you can look at Grayscale or you can look at uh, New York Stock Exchange Bitcoin and just put a little bit in and have a security rather than having to buy a whole Bitcoin. So, you just use your brain and know that when you're printing money like this administration is, and when they say unemployment is 6.3% yesterday, there are there are people out there that keep the real unemployment. It's over 10% and growing. You know, remember, it doesn't count if you've been, you've got unemployment for so long or you've been out of work, they just take you off the records. So when you hear 6.3%, that is absolutely an outright lie. It's not even close. So know this, the rich will get richer, the middle class will go down slightly, and the lower class will come out of nothing except a few free dollars. But the bottom line is the rich will get richer. And even if taxes go up and they are going to go up, it's not going to affect them. They'll just cut back or they're making so much it doesn't make any difference. But I'm going to tell you right now, you need to be praying on your knees for God's wisdom. What to do? Because there are so many things out there that are good and you need to be looking at, but they're very complicated for us, especially us baby boomers, all this stuff. But it's you as a steward. You've got to do it. You've got to step up. This is for you, for you to retire on, for your kids and grandkids, you want to leave something too. But if you just leave it sitting there in dollar-denominated investments, especially bonds, you're going to be murdered. You're going to get killed. When you do have a 1% yield on a bond right now, and they're going to print uh, trillions of dollars and devalue the U.S. dollar, you have a negative loss in bonds for sure. So anyway, if we can help you, let us know. I pray for wisdom for all of you because it is something that is unprecedented in our lifetime and will continue to be as electronics and all this wisdom continues to grow at record speeds. Until two weeks from now, with this week's or bi-weekly Precious Metals Market Update, this is Tom Cloud signing out.